welcome back to Ali Bakes. I'm Eliza Saw, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make these coffee, chocolate, shortbread cookies, and they taste so divine, so addictive, and once you make them, you'll wish you never did because you will eat the whole batch in less than an hour. I was inspired by these shortbread cookies that I had found, or well, that were given to me to try by my boyfriend's aunt. And she showed me this little tin of cookies that was full of shortbread cookies. And apparently it comes from a very famous bakery in Hong Kong and people line up for these tins of cookies. So I got to try a couple and from what I remembered, it was really good and I can see why people would line up for it. And I wanted to make a little homemade version, something that's pretty achievable, really easy to make. And so without further ado, let's get into it. I actually had to do a couple test batches because the first few times it came out, it was good, but not how I wanted it to be because I wanted the coffee flavor to be very strong and my batter was a little too soft. So I had to swap out a couple ingredients. Okay, so for our second trial, we're gonna be doing some soft butter and some icing sugar again. We're gonna do a little bit more flour and then cornstarch instead of rice flour. And then we're gonna have some salt, of course. This time we're adding in cocoa powder because we want it to be a little bit more darker and have a little bit more depth and flavor. And of course, our coffee extract, which I've upped by half a tablespoon. And then, of course, vanilla extract. So let's put this together and see how it goes. So now we're going to combine all our dry ingredients and sift it. So. Here goes our flour, our cornstarch, our cocoa powder, our salt, and we're just going to sift this. And we're gonna whisk this together. And we're just gonna set this aside to cream our butter and our sugar just until it is combined. So our butter and our sugar is super smooth. Looks about lump free, so now we can add in our coffee extract. Oh, and our vanilla extract, which I put into this bowl. And we're just gonna cream that together. It'll probably help if you scrape down the sides. So that looks all nice and smooth. And now we can add in our dry ingredients. So everything has been just combined. I'm just going to take a spatula and stir the rest of it by hand because I don't wanna work it too much. I wanna make sure that the gluten strands stay nice and short and we don't overwork our dough. And we're just making sure that all the butter has been nicely mixed in and that we've got all our dry ingredients that were stuck to the side of the bowl. I'm just gonna fill my piping bag with the Wilton 1B flour tip with all of my batter. Okay, so I've got my batter in my piping bag and I've got my Wilton 1B flour tip in there. Because the cookie dough is a little bit more stiffer than it was the first time around, it is going to be a little bit tougher to push out but a little good technique for pushing a stiffer dough through a piping bag is to cut it in half with your hand, like twist this part rather than, and hold this part closed as well so nothing falls out this way, but it also doesn't come down this way and so that you don't have to force everything out from the top of the bag and it kind of lessens the pressure on your hand, it makes it so much more easier. So I'm using a sill pot, which is just a silicone mat, but feel free to use some parchment. I only own one sill pot, so I'm using both parchment and my sill pot today. Pressing down, lifting, pressing down, lifting, pressing down, lifting, pressing down. Ooh. 
So now that I've piped all my cookies, I'm just going to put them into the fridge just to chill for a little bit as I get my oven heating up. And I just want to chill it because, you know, I'm trying to retain as much shape in these cookies as possible. And I think it also gives it a chance to really absorb all of the cornstarch, the flour, and all that stuff. So, I will be back. there you have it, the finished chocolate coffee shortbread cookies. And they smell so good as they bake. I use decaf so that I can snack on these at any time of the day and not have to worry about being like jittery all night or staying up all night. I've already been eating a couple, which is why this is all I have left. I just wanted to show you how it looks the texture. Definitely a lot more stronger in coffee flavor than it was for my first batch. These are so addicting and they would be great with a coffee right now. Oop. So yeah. So thank you for watching. If you like that video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. The ingredients amounts will be in the blog post as usual. And please let me know if you liked this video or if you tried out this recipe. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.